Hey guys, welcome back to a new video where I will be benchmarking a Quadro graphics card. Quadro graphics card, don't you, you think Quadro, you think expensive, you think really high end. Well today I'm going to be benchmarking an old Quadro FX 530 that came with a computer that I bought online for significantly cheaper than I thought I could. Uh, it comes with a Xeon X3430 processor, has a it's quad core 2.4 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM, 320 gig hard drive, and obviously the graphics card. I was wondering how much can I push this push this thing to its limits? Where is its limits? And uh, well, it's okay. It's okay. So for the games that I benchmarked, benchmarked Battlefield, CSGO, GTA 5, tried Fallout, tried Crisis, I tried Call of Duty, tried multiple different games, and you guys are all going to see this in live capture, because I, if I were to, to run Fraps and record with Fraps, it would significantly uh, drop the frame rate, so I wanted to keep it real, so I brought in-game real footage uh, from a, web, a camera uh, on the outside so it's gonna be a little blurry but uh, nonetheless these are my results so for CSGO we were running at 720p everything lowered down to as much as we can textures down everything down I'm sorry that the the image is shit uh, it's because the angle and the lighting it just doesn't work well with uh, the camera I me mean, adjusting it so uh, all around um, CSGO success success I wouldn't recommend playing CSGO uh, with this graphics card because you need more than 60 FPS you need constant more than 60 FPS so 120 100, 100 FPS is what you want stable you don't want to have jittering or anything so playing at this resolution also isn't half bad uh, some CSGO professionals play at even lower resolution so all around I must say it's it's a win it's a win for this one so yeah so for GTA 5, I was actually really surprised with only 512 megabytes of GDDR3 memory. Uh, this thing still managed to run on this at the lowest settings, everything lowered to lowest, lowest, lowest. We were able to run just below 30 FPS, constant minimum, a 20 FPS drop, which is fine all around. I wouldn't recommend this at all, um, but if you were desperate, maybe, just maybe for the right price. For Fallout 4, we got a solid no FPS. This game didn't even want to run on this computer because of just the graphics card not being compatible. Okay, so for Minecraft, we're actually doing pretty good uh, rendering from far away. We were dropping hardcore in frames, but a couple minutes into the game, you were seeing more constant frames per seconds, 60 FPS, 50 FPS, pretty good range. On decent settings, full screen, uh, you've got fancy settings here and there, max frame rates, everything, V-Sync turned off, pretty much everything mixed, nothing uh, huge, but you can definitely play Minecraft on this graphics card. Just the RAM, I think, is limiting it to be at another level, so really, if this was a 1 gig card, it'd be much better. Crisis 3 didn't even want to run because of lack of DX11, so I was happy. <laughs> For Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, I was actually able to play at 1080p default settings and get 60 FPS. So if you actually like playing Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty World of War, or Modern Warfare 4, play on the old servers and stuff like that, and you're a consistent guy on that, I'd actually, you know, I wouldn't say that this is a bad graphics card again. In fact, this is actually decent and good enough to play this game. So if you're actually looking uh, to buy a graphics card just to play these games, go ahead, buy it. Why not? The fact that I was even able to run Battlefield 4 at higher than 10 FPS shocked me. Uh, I lowest settings, obviously, 800 by 600. You got the shittiest resolution, the shittiest uh, settings, but it still ran at around 20 to 25 uh, frames per second. So I was completely in shock all around. Not recommended. So at the end of the day, is the FX Quadro 530 worth it? Obviously, from everything that I showed you guys, my benchmarks, my games, I can definitely tell you guys, no, it is definitely not worth it to get an old Quadro graphics card if you're gaming. Now, video rendering, possibly, if you guys want to see uh, me video trying to video render with a Quadro process or a graphics card, maybe it'll do better, maybe not, we'll see. 
Uh, all around, I wouldn't recommend getting any, any Quadro graphics card for gaming, unless if it's one of the higher tiers, and even then, might as well just get a 980 or 960. They'll do just as good, but even cheaper. So, see you guys in the next one. Leave suggestions down below on what else I should try, some crazy stuff. I got, I got more stuff coming, I've got more, ex like, extinguished uh processors and graphics cards that are are meant to be checked at and looked at and see if they're worth it for gaming so see you guys in the next one peace